Today I'm in Germany. I'm midway between the towns of Gok and Cleve, uh, famous for, of course, Anne of Cleve's wife of Henry VIII uh, in the 16th century. But this is a site of a battle, the Battle of the Reichswald, Operation Veritable. Uh, how does this come about? Basically, the Arnhem operation is a failure. Uh, Market Garden doesn't work. We're stopped short, effectively, of the River Rhine, but we do take the Mars. And the decision is taken by Eisenhower, the 21st Army Group, with under command, the American Ninth Army, will move up in such a way as to cross the River Mars, using the Greisbach Heights, and then move into the situation to be right along the banks, the, the western banks of the River Rhine prior to that crossing that will follow. Originally, it's planned for early January of 1945, but Christmas 1944, operation begins, which we now know as the Battle of the Bulge, the Ardennes. The date is put back. Now, we've got to imagine the situation we're in now. The actual Rhine has a floodplain a couple of miles wide, and this area here, the Reichswald, is forested, much as it is now. The key point was that they had to be able to fight through it in the middle of winter, in appalling conditions, on wet, soggy ground, and through a forest that actually is going to increase casualties. Why? Air bursts shell bursts in the tree, you get shell splinters, you also get pieces of wood. The battle begins on the 7th of February with an attack which involves two Canadian divisions, the 3rd and the 2nd, and then 4th Canadian Armoured Division. Ultimately, under General Carrera, 1st Canadian Army, there actually is 10 divisions committed here. Facing them, a combination of not great infantry, but a great number of Falmsjäger, German paratroops, well-trained, well-equipped, and motivated to defend their homeland, the, the Reich. The battle begins with a bombardment which goes on for a couple of hours of Gok and Cleve, destroying their cities almost completely. Then the battle begins. And I just can't begin to describe what it was like for the men that were here. It goes on from the 8th of February, the beginning of the battle. Veritable begins then right through to the 10th of March, so just less than a month. And even Eisenhower has to describe it as some of the toughest fighting that occurs in the war. Casualties are staggering. Now, the Nazis lose about 43,000 killed, wounded and missing, plus their own prisoners. The Allies, about 14,500 soldiers. That includes air crew, Canadians, Brits, Poles, Belgians, they're all here. The point must be that this is a battle that not many people know about. Veritable means very little. It's a prelude to the Rhine crossing, and it's a prelude to what will become the, a great advance as the 21st Army Group move off north towards Germany, off towards Hamburg, and the Americans move off towards a link-up which will occur just before May with the Russians on the River Elbe. But without the people that lay here, that prelude to the last act could never have occurred. This is the warm-up to the finish of the war. The war that will end with the final surrender of Nazi forces in Europe. 